I said there was a cheat code for getting a special hammer. There's two codes you can use without the game saying, No, you can't save, and I don't know why. If you're gonna have cheat codes, just let me save. I don't care about the achievements, just let me save. A cheat playthrough is fun, but it only really is fun if you can actually get progress in some sense. Again, don't care about the achievements. They're not that big of a deal. So I might say, you don't have a gold hammer. And you'd be right. I don't have a golden hammer. I forgot, how do you equip that golden hammer anyway? How do we equip the golden hammer? Wait! I think I remember. What are the buttons? Okay, that's the, the weapon. Okay, here we go. So many different games with a similar camera angle that it gets super confusing. No? Hmm. I guess. All right, doesn't matter. Like really? I don't remember how these even work. Actually, aim assist. Let's see what aim assist does. I think it's the same thing they did in uh, Armageddon. In Armageddon, I understand that they would switch melee attack with the other thing. Oh, okay. Because in, in that game, you don't melee as much, and melee is pretty powerful, and enemies are fucking annoying as shit, so you really want to get that melee capacity. You really want to get that aim. Because in that game, the aim assist is essentially you automatically snap on a target, which is super useful because, as I said, the compass is crap. And for the most part, the game's pretty awful in that regard. So today the day, we're going to do some uh, EDF demolitions, and I think we're going to do another main story mission. You know what, let's just do the main story mission. Who's going to stop me? The law? Well, I am the law, missy. Law, law, don't watch South Park. Especially not that episode with the music that I kind of like. I have nothing against a good opera. I don't watch them. So don't consider that. It's simply a mild passive interest. Seized and fortified the dust town hall. Someone needs to level that place. Why? Why the fuck is the dust town hall behind a giant wall? That doesn't seem like they seized it. It seems much more like they just took it. Oh come on, there's got to be something in this building. Tal vez debería haber ayudado más a la red faction. I don't even know what that means. All I know is that if I hit this thing, it's gonna blow up. We're setting up a new base of operations in the Badlands. We hid a cache of weapons near the site, but we didn't hide it well enough. It's out in the, the open. Marauders found it and made off with our weapons. Oh, this mission, I our remember. Trackers this one. believe they have a hideout near this location. Your job is to find it. The Marauders have been out here a long time, but we don't have much intel. All we know is that they're scavengers, and extremely hostile to outsiders. Nate! This mission's pretty sexy. Makes me shake we those hips. Marauder vehicle. Follow it and see where it goes. Thanks. Really? Oh, there's a vehicle actually there reserved for me. Thank you kindly. I like how small the engine is. It's a tiny little block at the front and not much else. It's a very uh, efficient vehicle. Oh man, look at all the debris. This place is so shit we don't even have- oh look at that. EDF Executive Housing is owned by the EDF Executives. If I remember, this mission actually contains the Nano Forge, which lets us eat things like a big mean guy that's like, um, 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 I eat buildings. It's close enough. If they spot you, this mission is over. 
Let's see where they're going. They must have a base or outpost nearby. Oh, we gotta stay outside of the red circle, but inside the larger red circle! Because fuck you. Yeah, this is definitely that mission. We should go to Moho and talk to Parker. That'll be a hoot. That'll be a hoot nanny. That's their airbase, which uh, I comically like to call Fuck You Place. I'm coasting, by the way. I'm not pressing anything. Uh, we'll probably get back by here as we leave, so I guess we'll we'll come back here for that little. No, I'm still gonna place that thing. Oh, this is pretty cool. He's gonna drive straight through that wall. <sighs> You're not gonna believe this. The Marauders drove right through a rock. Say again. Must be a hologram, but where did they get that technology? Go in there and see what you can find out. I want you to notice how my compass just freaks the fuck out when I approach this thing. Expect me to talk. I'm not James Bond. I'm not gonna talk. There's nothing to be said. The only thing that needs to be said is Hallelujah! Or Hannah Barbara. I found the Marauder vehicle, but no Marauders. The entrance to their base must be nearby. Find it. Hey, give me a second, dude. I need to bust down this old tour base. If you're clever, you already found out. The containment field ruptured. I don't know why. Did do something wrong? Did run the inspections? I'm the captain. I'm responsible for those deaths. This is where the repair thing would be so sexy. It's like rebuild. But that never happens in the actual Armageddon game. It's mostly just places. Armageddon did everything it could to make it as boring as possible. Why wouldn't you use the bayonet? There's a fucking bayonet on that thing. Just use that. Or the giant saw. I guess he does in a sense, but... This must be it. Be careful, Mason. It could be a trap. Surprisingly, it is not a trap. And once more, our compass decides this is not the place, this is not the time. I really like this music. It's so sober. All right, I'm in. What is this place? Given your location, you might be in the old Ultor mining complex. It was abandoned decades ago after the first Red Faction uprising.
I'm getting some interference. What are they saying? Where could we go? So Something about Parker. Could be EDF. That's Marauder, I tell you. Look at this place, it's just falling apart. At the seams, no less. lab but they never found the nano forge it's the key to everything we must protect it and keep it safe we must not forget its secrets to me. He's talking to someone named Parker. Parker's dead. He's actually not dead. Parker's alive. And we're gonna visit him soon enough. But yeah, um, that has to be Capek. I just know it. Now, not that I know Red Faction all that well, but who the fuck else would it be? Like, we are a few steps away from picking up the Nano Forge. It must be Capek. He's a ghost! A spooky ghost! And, uh, you know what? When I do my Red Faction playthrough, I'll bet you 20 bucks that wherever this voice is from, this is some place you fight Capek. Because I remember that he is a boss. So it simply must be the place where you beat Capek up. What are these things? What is that? Well, that's what I've been talking about all this magic time. The Nano Forge. Right now, we can't actually see it. This machine's pretty spooky. We can't bust it up either. This machine's got gusto. Gusto. Got some kind of device here. I've never seen anything like it. Sam better have a look. Mason, we've got a problem. We spotted EDF moving for position. Say say again, I'm losing you. He said he spotted bad guys with bad Oh that's pretty fancy. Sam, you there? Go ahead and make it. I found a device in the old Ultor mines. Commander wants you to look it over. Did you see the marauders? Just the ones I followed in there. Did you kill them? How do you care? Samania has a reason to care. Right. Just bring me the device. Samania has a pretty good reason to care about that, by the way. It's the plot twist I've been waiting to tell, but. As I've made clear, I will not try not to spoil it, but 
I can't keep all of my promises. What is that thing? I like to call it the lightning gun. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, we got some bullets. I'm making it rain, bitches! And now he's gonna fight it! He's gonna fight it like a man! I thought the facility was a little bit sturdier than that. What the fuck? Where's the exit? I like how your big map still works. Here's the exit. The idiots are moving in force on your position. Get out before they pin you down. But now something wacky happens. For whatever wacky ass reasons, the Marauders aside, now is the time to help me. That means, now is the time to get the fuck out of here. I don't know why they're doing that, but they are. At the end of the day, that's really all that matters, isn't it? Fortunately, we're not out of the woods yet. Those Marauders might be causing a ruckus. We can expect the EDF to have some sort of back... I'm not these guys. Why is this car driving like a fucking brick? This car has some of the worst handling I've ever seen. Drive. I'm so glad tires can't pop in this game. We'll have to come back here, by the way. Now, Somalia has reason to care about the Marauders, and these guys have plenty of reason to care about me. Since they don't like me. And it deleted my marker, which is great. So you might wonder, why the hell would the EDF follow me? Well, odds are, they too have their reasons to follow me. I like how they call them. Whoops. At least I didn't drive on Sam. There you go, Sam. You know what this thing is? The Nano Forge. Maybe. She knows it. I'll need some time. She knows exactly what it is. Just holler if I can give you it. Don't even pretend, Samanya. Look at those smackaroonies. That's some Hanna Barbera bananas right there. Incoming SATCOM from the Hydra, Earth Defense Fleet. I need a status report, General. What's going on down there? Intelligence confirms that a Red Faction guerrilla is in possession of the Nano Forge. The insurgent has been identified as Alec Mason. He apparently acquired the device in the Altar Mining Facility. Is the Forge operational? Has it been replicated? That is undetermined, Admiral. But intelligence believes... Intelligence believes a lot of things. When the Hydra reaches orbit, we'll have answers. My battalions are preparing a counterattack as we speak. My orders are to... The Council has placed this entire operation under my command. Why wasn't I advised? I will not debate protocol while the terrorists weaponize the Nanoforge. You will transmit drop zone coordinates when the Hydra is ready to deploy in force. 
Go bell out. That's a very fancy vest he's got. I say kudos to your buttons. Dear Sir Esquire. Let's see the EDF spin. What's going on now? Can't buy it? Well, fuck you then, Samania. Go suck a fat one. gonna have to go back there for a short few visits. Like I said, we got some collectibles to pick up, and I want to see fucking Parker. Because they said he was dead, he's not. Driving down the road again. Beep beep. But what? The missions vanish? Oh fuck! So once you complete an area, guerrilla missions just poof. Well, that's great. Somewhere around here is a solar farm, if I remember. I don't exactly where, but there's a solar farm, and it's hilarious. Eco-friendly EDF. What else the fuck are you going to use on Mars, though, other than solar power? There's no oil on Mars. Isn't that Badlands music? It's fucking creepy. <laughs> Running on the road again. I'm on the road again. Fucking spooky as shit, man. I don't like being in the Badlands up to a certain point in the game. Because of how fucking spooky it is! Look at the spooktastic factor of spook! Look at that. That should freak you the fuck out. This is. Ah! Because you didn't sit close enough to the explosive, you idiot. I put the explosive down and sat on the complete opposite side of your ship. I thought the explosives would reach that far. You do know the explosions d rapidly decrease over their distance because they are effectively spreading in all dimensions. Like in a two-dimensional world, explosives would be remarkably effective over a large distance, but... Oh my fucking god, I thought that was a marauder. I was about to crap myself. But it's just a regular old air patrol. Driving down the road again. Look at how... Just... I can't stop saying this because it's such a massive component of the Badlands. Look at how spooky that is! Huge iron monsters. I, 
think I just landed in their base, and that was- Oh! Yep! There they are! Fuck! Fuck! There they are! They have bombs? Well, lots of people have bombs in this game, for whatever reason. Oh, they have pulse bombs, of all things! Well... Thank you! Sorry! Dun 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 This music is not related. Oh, there's a transporter. I actually think that might be worth a a try. But first, we gotta clean up the Marauders. We just can't leave these jackalopes alive, can we? So is gonna be pissed, however. She will not be taking too kindly to these activities. You know what you should have done? Send them an RSVP that I was coming. Look at how these guys even look. Wait, why is he using a regular standard EDF enforcer? Or peacekeeper. Enforcer is the one with the homing bullets. I know that. I don't know where does this take me. I want to go to Mohole and speak to Parker. Even though Parker's completely insane, he does actually have those rare grenades I talked about. I mean, remember how I talked about super gravity grenades? Parker has those. He has them as a one-time spawn. It's the only location I know you can reliably get those. I know no other place in the game you can get those bombs. Perhaps a challenge offers them, but otherwise, I don't know. I can only assess this is going to be a Marauder vehicle, and the game's like, Take it here! Oh ho ho ho! You know, I've never actually had a random encounter with uh, Marauders. I've always avoided them. Sig to significant enough proportions that I never had to encounter them and fight them. Of course it's a Marauder vehicle. What else would it be? Get out of the way, spooky stuff. You're too spooky. You're too spooky for me. Go spoop other places. Marauder vehicles are wacky, though. Sam, I found one of those vehicles you were looking for. They're done. Bring it to this safe house. What? How does that even work? How does that work? I haven't even been to Oasis. You can't just tell me to go to Oasis. That's not how the law works. That's not also how a car works. I like this flat roof though. I do like that Marauder vehicles look so weird. They look completely nonsensical. Which sort of adds up, considering what the Marauders really are. Which is a spooky pasta! Or a creepy pasta. Let's have a look see at the road. The road is relatively straight, so I don't have a lot of input. Oh yeah, that bridge is, by the way, a target, and it will ruin your life if you decide to destroy it. I'm not even kidding. That bridge is a target, and it will get you with the Benjamins, but if you blow it up, you're fucked, because that bridge is pretty useful. Really? 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 The answer is really. Oh my fucking god, they're everywhere. You might identify that this is the vehicle that Jenkins uses. If not an unmodified version. 
Look at that. It's fucking red. That's so much a target. We can't do anything with it, though, because the game doesn't allow you to destroy targets in areas you haven't unlocked the regular missions for. You know, because it makes sense. Why would you target your operator? Why are they leaving the Marauders alive? Thank you, EDF. Oh, the EOS cars! I love those little things. They're so cute. They make me giggle and sparkle with glee. Sort of. Oh, now I remember the EOS house is so fucking stupid. It's a bitch to get into because it's inside a crater, and guess how easy it is to get inside the crater? The answer is, it's impossible to get inside the crater. It's a trick question. Another trick question. It is impossible to finish this mission now because it's a bitch. Because we're not even in the split. Look at this. How do you do this? How? Oh, I just remembered. Oh, no, no, it actually sends me back. Okay. I'll see you guys at Mohole. If I remember where Parker's even at at Mohole. Great, now I have to drive there myself. Without a vehicle! Because this game hates me. Great! See you there! That bridge gets a lot of traffic from EDF convoy, but you'll need more than remote charges to bring it down. Okay, so I simply didn't have the right part of it on it. Yeah, this thing is f fucking impossible. I think Harrington is again a reference to someone, as is Eos. Eos is also a person, a place. You can actually go and liberate this place, I think. Or at least you can eventually. You have to complete this place first. And they can do either one of these. I like how Oasis actually has less missions. But as to the fact that Oasis is relatively small. There isn't a lot to Oasis. So we're gonna go to the second skip, and then we go right. The EDF are launching attacks from that outpost here in the Badlands. We need to shut them down. But we don't shut them down, and we just focus on having a wonderful time. I forgot, after dust we unlock the capacity to fast travel. I'm just being a derp. It's uh, In case I wasn't clear, it's been a really long time since I've ever played this game. Are those fucking... Either someone is in the house, or there's fucking birds messing around. Oh my god, you fucking birds. I hate those birds. Why is there random salvage here? Oh, this stuff gives salvage. Well, I guess that makes sense, considering that we were asked to destroy things earlier. Yeah, that's definitely fucking birds fucking around on my... Ah! Get off of there, shits. Anyway, this is Mohol. There's a mission involving you driving a car into Mohole. Which is hilarious. Here it is. Is this where it is? Oh my god, I don't even know where Parker is anymore. Not that he's that easy to find, though. Look at this thing. I don't know what Moho is. Oh, great! Fucking Marauders! Like I said, I'm not familiar with the, the Badlands until the Marauders. Oh my god, there's millions of them. Well then. I think we all know what I'm... That might be his house. No, fuck this, I'm gonna look this up. If you find yourself dying more than you'd like. If you're fucking up too much, just turn down the difficulty. Yeah, I died. Those marauders, like, Jesus Christ, those marauders. I wasn't prepared. I didn't know they were that common of an occurrence. But, uh, 
I see you there. I found a little map that tells me where Parker's at, so we can visit the guy. And I'll show you that this Parker is a lot better than the one in Red Faction, because this Parker doesn't give a crap! You can smack him around, you can blow him up, and he's like, I don't know. He doesn't know. Does he know? He doesn't know. Nobody knows. Who knows? Do you know? You don't even know. Comedy Gold! We have no choice but to destroy your vehicle. Oh, but I like this vehicle. Oh, by the way, I just remembered what Mohul stands for. If I remember, there is a thing called Project Mohul? That involved drilling into the core of the earth or something. It was some giant plan to dig the way into the earth. And that's probably why it's a big open gash. So you might wonder why I keep saying this bridge is pretty cool. This is the detour you have to take if you break the bridge. So yeah, there's a big benefit to keeping this thing intact. I really like this navigation system. It's pretty fancy, 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 fancy cool. I like EDF more than the Marauders, though. The Marauders are hacks. That's where Parker lives. Oh my fucking god. There's so many audio logs in this area. What the crap? I can feel the poison working through my body. The voice in the Reverend's head was not God, but madness. He brought us here to die in this desert. It is perspective that Mo is in fact a uh, colony redemption three, due to the fact At that night, when it's very quiet. I can still hear that lady counting down in that countdown voice of hers. This is Parker. And Parker, he has these singularity bombs. They're a hoot. My property, Flatlander. Parker is an old man, as you can see. I've had worse than that. I'll see you try that again. Now what was that for? Don't make me get out of this chair. Now that hurt my feelings. You can't kill me. I'm invincible. He is. Which is the hilarious part. Let's see if we can trigger one of his more comical ones. Come on, Coop! They had me crawling through the vent shafts. Switching on the emergency generators, disabling the planetary defense systems. And what did I get for my troubles? Nothing. Ah! Tell me more, tell me more! Get that shuttle, get to the tram, find the antidote. They got me running like a monkey with his head cut off. Just, just say the line that confirms you are Parker, please. You know what? You know what? You know what? The EDF's hold, if we're going to do Singularity Bomb. This is a one time spawn. Party time! Time for a party! Today's my birthday! Happy birthday to me! Where's my present, you son of a bitch? I don't know, Mr. Old Coot. You put him down like that. You call this a guerrilla war? Get with the program, son. You gotta get with the program. This thing is remarkably ineffective. You'd be surprised how shitty that is. 
All you got here are a bunch of gun-toting old door rejects. What you need here is a crazy bastard like Kate Beck. That's entirely true, because we need the Nano Forge much more than you think eventually. So yeah, Parker is incredibly bright for someone now, called Kate a coot. Was doing some strange science, nanotechnology. He made a soup that could stop a bullet. That's right, I said soup. S O U P. That's the honest truth. True, because later he, uh, this guy's grandson gets the capacity to do just that, which is fancy. Let me fancy. tell you something. That whole damn EDF couldn't beat Colonel Masako. That old bitch fried a man alive. Then she ate him. For breakfast, I assume. You don't eat a man for lunch. Just say the fucking line, Parker. Or this will go down the hard way. You don't scare me. Is that slow motion? He's like, no! Come on, just say the line, That's Parker. Nothing. I don't like you much. Say the fucking line, Parker. You ever disable a laser satellite network from space? Nah, I didn't think so. The singulator bombs look cool, but again, they're so rare and impractical. I don't know, the game, if they, you can't even put these in storage closets. If you put them in, you don't get any ammo for them. Or, nor can you take them out later. Oh, it's very quiet. I can still hear that lady. Also, Barker actually that. gets different lines as you progress to certain parts I've of the game. Had worse than that. Let me see you try that again. Goomba, stop! Pow! One more line, Parker. It better be something fresh. Get off my property, Flatlander. I asked for something fresh, and I got exactly what I wanted. I do like this guy's scarf. It's really nice. Um, come on, Parker. I'm just begging you. I'm begging, begging you. They had me crawling through the vent. Sorry, Mr. Parker. This just isn't gonna work out. It saved me a dust because, technically speaking, my safe house is dust. Switching on the emergency generators. So let's see if I can get myself launched into mohole. And what did I get from my troubles? Oh man, that's kind of spooky. Ah! Oh!